So in this video, we're going to talk about how you would take um, any nylon halter or synthetic halter and make it into a breakaway. Um, in a normal nylon halter, um, either one of ours that's a hybrid um, with the rope and the nylon, or in a synthetic uh, beta material, um, and I've got an example of that uh, here, neither of these materials are breakaway. So if you want it to break away for, say, turnout, um, you're going to need to make some modifications. However, if you have a leather halter, um, like here's one of our leather hybrid halters, leather is a naturally breakaway material um, just because cows have seams, <laughs> just like we do um, in our, our skin. It's going to have fissures in, in the um, hide itself. So if enough force is placed on leather, it will actually break away. So that's going to be the key um, to installing our breakaway fuse. Um, in a leather halter, you don't need this breakaway feature because in a leather halter, this pull strap will break usually right below the buckle um, and then the good news is is that if you do have a leather halter you can take the um, pull strap at the opposite side bring it up one notch and then put this one down and you can get a week or two um, of use out of it while you wait for another pull strap to be on on its way and we do sell the replacement um, pull straps on our website but for the, those of you that have nylon halters, um, this is the process that you're going to go through uh, to convert your nylon halter. And this works on any one inch halter. So whether it's one of ours um, or not. Um, so our breakaway fuse kit comes in a little bag like this. And I'll open this one up and show you the pieces that will come inside it. Um, a few years ago, there weren't really very many breakaway fuses kits out on the market. In fact, I only knew of one um, when I developed this one. Um, and I didn't like it very well because I found that um, it made the halter bigger. Um, so what I went for in designing these um, is a couple of things that I'm going to walk you through now. So what you're going to, let's go through what's in your kit first. So you're going to get a card in your kit that on the back side is going to have all of your instructions and photos of each step and what you need. And all you're going to need as far as tools to do this is you're going to need a good pair of scissors. Um, if you don't have a pair of Fisker scissors, I love Fisker scissors. Um, they will cut through anything and they are a really great investment. So yes, these are a little bit spendier of a scissors, but um, if you're always struggling with dull scissors, I highly recommend Fiskers. Um, and then you're gonna need a screwdriver and that's all you're gonna need. In the kit comes everything else you need. So you're gonna get two fuse pieces and each of these is a fuse piece. And then you're gonna get um, two sets of Chicago screws, a, a screw and a, and a uh, adapter end. Um, and th that's all that you're gonna going to need. Um, to talk about the shape a little bit, the fuses that are out there on the market generally only have um, one hole in them and they're made out of a very, very thin, um, cheap leather. We actually stamp ours out of really, really nice quality leather um, for the reason that it's going to be a little bit stronger in the breakaway um, and it's going to give a bit more tailored uh, permanent look to this while while it's on the halter so the problem is is that if you've got one that's made out of um sort of really really thin leather is that's going to break away really quickly if your horse gets in a bind and we don't want the halter to just break away at the slightest pressure like say they're in the trailer or the cross ties and they you know just put a little bit of pressure on that's not the situation that we're looking for these halters to break away and what we're looking for is if they get in a bind they catch themselves out in the pasture on say a fence or they hook a shoe or they get scared and they really, really set back on the trailer. That's what we're trying to ensure against. We're trying to ensure against the kinds of um, hang ups and breakages that could hurt them. So that's what we're protecting against. But as far as I'm aware, we have the only breakaway fuse design um, that can work on both types of buckles. So um, there's two kinds of buckles that you're going to see out there. Um, in the market on halters. And um, one is this style, which has two bars on it. It has a bar here where the um, 
nylon web will go through, and it has another bar where the tongue is. Then there's another style of bar, which is more common to a breakaway halter, or sorry, more common to a double buckle halter that has pull straps, and that's this style. And I'll take this off so you can see it a little bit better, and this is an unfinished halter but this is a synthetic, this is beta. Um, so on this type of buckle, you only have one bar. Um, so our breakaway fuse kit is actually engineered to fit with either the two bar or one bar style. And the reason is, is that it's got this slit in the middle. So you can um, then be able to put that through there without having to cut it or struggle with it. So regardless of what kind of buckle you have on your halter, as long as it's a one inch halter, this is a fully universal um, fuse kit. So. Um, just a thing to point out because it is really handy and I really really do like doing the breakaway fuses um, on our synthetic halters because a synthetic halter is impervious to washing dirt sweat all of those things so it's a it's a wonderful advantage they are strong as iron however so you cannot get a synthetic halter beta to break away so this is a great safety mechanism for that so I've got a halter here um, that we've been using out in the stables. And all I'm going to do, um, you, this is where you have to be a little bit brave. You're going to take the buckle um, and you're actually going to cut it off. So what you're going to do here is you're just going to cut off this little keeper of nylon. You're going to cut that off and you're going to cut it off on the buckle side as well. And then you have a loose buckle. Um, and that's where the magic happens. So then now all we're going to do is we're going to take our um, fuse through here. And what we're aiming to do is fold it over and what's going to happen is, is then the two pieces are going to meet. The other thing I don't like about the other fuse kits that are out there on the market is, is they're incredibly long. So you see some that are, um, you know, like 12 inches long. The problem is, is that that makes the halter bigger than because we've sized this down um, to be matching um, to this connector piece that's on all of the halters and this is a pretty common length for most halters so um, but there's a bit of a lack of um, design going into the breakaway fuses you'll see out there because they're they're way too long in in my opinion so anyway all you're going to do so this is going to replace that piece that we just took off and in this style because we have a bar buckle we're going to put that through the bar just like that and then when these holes line up, all you have to do is just stick your Chicago screw in there. Just like that. Flip that little guy over. Put the screw in. Now I do recommend um, if you have some nail polish or some thread locker to just um, put a little bit of that on a piece of paper and then dab the end of the um, Chicago screw in there and then um, do up your Chicago screw or the screw end in the um, glue, super glue or nail polish and then put that in because it'll just set the screw a little bit um, which will give you a little bit more uh, assurance so you just tighten it down as tight as you can possibly get it. You can also put tape on the back side of the screw when you go to tape it on, but it's nice and finished. It looks very tailored. The nice thing is, is in the colored halters when it's buckled, um, this will actually cover, um, the color will actually cover it. So you still have all the fashion color and, um, you know, really elegant look of whatever color you've picked for your horse without it being, you know, abundantly clear that they're in a breakaway, but this way, if they do get caught, now that is going to um, break and keep them safe. Your kit will come with two fuses. So one to put on your halter and then one that you can keep as a backup um, in with your tack repair materials. Um, 
to have at any any time. So it's a great way to um, make a halter safe. The other thing, should you ever want to put, like another example is we sell um, rope pull straps that have um, rope here, they're leather, but they have rope up here in the pull um, to give you a little bit more pull pressure. You can actually convert uh, one of these nylon halters to use a replaceable pull strap like that by using then two of these fuses. Uh, you'd have to get a spare buckle uh, for this offside, but then you could have a nylon body and you could have that rope pull strap if you so wanted to customize it. So you can get kind of creative then um, in what you use this for. And if you want to have double buckle adjustment on a young horse, as long as it's a one inch halter um, and you can get another buckle, uh, which are widely available, or we all have um, halters that have you know, seen better days that uh, we could probably salvage one off of. So that's another tip for you of a way that you can keep your tack lasting longer and safer for your horse. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions for me, just drop them in the comments. Thanks so much.